here. It's about time. Where the hell were you? I don't have a watch on. Okay. Anyway, I'm Mark Doty, and um, I was sitting at home, and I was... Uh, I don't remember what I was doing. I was probably probably not even sitting, or maybe I wasn't at home. I, I'm just totally lying to you. So I have this mini mode video, and some people have watched it, and if there's one reoccurring comment I get about the mini mode video and about the mini mode in general, it's that... Well, apparently a lot of people think it sounds like Nintendo, which I find baffling. But uh, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the fact that people would really like to play a mini Moog, and a lot of people don't get the opportunity. In fact, a lot of the synthesizers that you've seen me demonstrate here, um, I had those long before I had a mini Moog, and I had never seen a mini Moog in person or touched one. So I know what it feels like when you're thinking mini Moog. Wow, I wish. I wish I could fiddle around with a mini Moog. So I was thinking about that. I was thinking about all you saying, hey, I wish I had one of these. And I thought, what would be the best way to give people this experience? Now, granted, it would be to give you a mini Moog, but I'm not in a position to do that. But I can give you a virtual mini Moog, which is to say, I have this idea, why not make a YouTube mini Moog where you go on YouTube and here's a video and you get to make decisions about what knobs are turned and you can hear the outcome of your decisions. So basically, I have made you a YouTube mini Moog, a YouTube interactive virtual mini Moog. So that's what I've done. I put this thing together. Now, don't get too excited. It's very basic here at first, and that's because of this pesky issue called um, exponential growth, where one choice turns into two choices, turns into four choices, turns into eight choices, and goes on and on like that until um, even with this tiny little bear process I've made for you, there's 50 some videos involved. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, the point of the matter is, it was the only way I could think of to bring you a Mini Moog experience where you get to make decisions about what the Mini Moog sounds like, uh, what the sound you're making sounds like. And uh, yeah, you get to choose uh, settings that will change. It's still very basic, but uh, eventually it, get, it will get more complex. Ideally, I'd like to give you the opportunity to turn every knob, but uh, that's a lot of videos. Maybe thousands of videos. But anyway, hopefully this will give you an idea of what the Mini Moog sounds like, but also uh, an understanding of what these various applications and synthesis will do as you progress. So, Without much more blathering, here is the YouTube Mini Moog. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, I'm going to keep adding to it, so keep coming back and see if something new has happened. Thank you for watching all the videos thus far, and uh, here, enjoy this. Uh, click on this link. This link will take you to it. Hopefully I'll find a way that you can get to this link where you don't have to watch this video over and over again. I know how that can be. Anyway. Click the link, go play the mini mode, have fun.